Hello all this is Gaurav Sahani and welcome to my channel. This video is specially for beginners in data science. If you are learning data science, you have hands on machine learning models implemented on some applications, learn feature engineering, feature selection, model evaluation and many more things. Now this is the perfect time you need to apply these skills. Well, this video is curated to share a number of competitions on Kaggle on which beginners can get their hands dirty and learn tremendous things. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Well, I have already prepared a video regarding what actually is Kaggle and why every beginner should join Kaggle. I have shared the link at the end so that you can watch the video later. Briefly speaking, Kaggle is a huge platform for data analysts, data scientists and engineers all around the world. It's a crowdsourced platform to attract, nurture, train and challenge people from all around the world to solve data science, machine learning and predictive analytics problems and learn a lot of things. Now in Kaggle, there are generally four types of competitions. Firstly, talking about featured competitions, these are the type of competition that Kaggle is probably best known for. These are full-scale machine learning challenges which possess difficult, generally commercially proposed prediction problems. These, there are various current going feature competitions such as SIIM, FISA Bio, RSNA, COVID-19 detection problem. Then we have Optiva Realize Volatility Prediction Challenge. Also we have MLB Player Digital Engagement. Also we have Google Smartphone Decimeter Challenge. And there are n number of featured competitions. Now, featured competitions attract some of the most formidable experts and offer prize pools going as high as million dollars. However, they remain accessible to anyone and everyone. Whether you are an expert in the field or a complete novice, featured competitions are a valuable opportunity to learn skills and techniques from the very best in the field. Now, coming towards the research-based competition, well, these are another common type of competitions on Kaggle. Research competition feature problems which are more experimental than featured competition problems. There are various current going feature competitions such as SETI breakthrough lesson, ET signal competition. We also have G2Net gravitational wave detection competition and many such research based competitions. Now both of these competitions are generally designed for experts that is feature based and research based which are surely not recommended for beginners to start with. Also, these are the competitions which contribute towards the tiers, which will be rewarding you the gold, silver or bronze medals. These type of competitions requires whole lot of research. You need to get domain knowledge and research before dealing any of such competitions and that is time consuming to understand the problem statement, experiment with models, evaluate them and get the most optimized result, which will get you in top ranks. Now comes the competitions which are there or curated for beginners and intermediate people in data science. We will start with competitions for beginners first and how every beginner can deal with those and later move towards the intermediate level competitions. Starting with the most easiest and favorite of all from which most of the data science experts started their career is competition Titanic Machine Learning from Disaster One which comes under getting started competitions of Kaggle. Well, this is the competition where every beginner can get their hands dirty. For this competition, Kaggle has their walkthrough as well. You can find it here, which is Alexis Cook's Titanic tutorial, which gives an end-to-end tutorial as how to deal with this particular competition. Now, coming towards the data, this data includes around 11 features like passenger ID, class, name of passenger, then their gender, age, and many more features while the target label here is survived. In short, we need to predict whether the passenger survived on Titanic or not. You can start implementing your machine learning skills, mm -hmm. try a number of models, evaluate them and give your first submission over here. Now, once you have given your first submission, you can come towards this code section where you can find thousands of solutions shared by many Kagglers ranging from beginner to expert ones. You can learn from them and use those techniques in your code Try to fetch top ranks. Well, this competition is a perfect one to track your improvement through months. Also, you can ask your doubts in this discussion section as well. Isn't it amazing? Now, this Titanic competition deals experimenting with your classification model. 
Now that you have exhausted dealing with this and now I know that you want to get hands on the regression modeling techniques as well. So Kaggle has solution for that too. Now coming towards another competition which is house price advanced regression techniques which is another favorite competition for most of the beginners. Here you can experiment with your regression techniques. Even you will find a lot of tutorials on this competition as well on YouTube. Now this competition basically aims to predict the house prices which depends on number of features. This competition is a bit challenging because here you will need to consider around more than 80 features as you can see here. So this competition basically helps you to improve upon your feature engineering techniques, how well you can select best features, how to deal with huge data sets. This data would seem huge but of course it gives a bit taste of real world scenarios. Finally you can experiment with this regression techniques and improve your ranks as well. Now under this competition you can also find some great approaches by thousands of Kagglers from which you can learn from. Also you can ask your doubts in this discussion section and also you can track your rank in this leaderboard so that you will be getting a track of your improvements throughout the months. And apart from these two competitions, that is Titanic one and house price prediction one, you can also find digital recognizer competition, which deals with basics of deep learning, natural language processing with disaster tweets, which deals with very basics of natural language processing. Also connect text, petals to metals. I'm some, I'm something of a painter myself and n number of competitions, which are under getting started section. But the best competition for newbies in data science stays this titanic machine learning from disaster one. Now heading towards another interesting and amazing competition section which is playground series. So playground competitions are of fun type and these competitions are one step above getting started in terms of difficulty. These competitions are often provide relatively simple machine learning tasks and are similarly targeted at newcomers or Kaggle interested in participating new types of problems every month. Here the prizes are not money but some cool swags. Now these competitions are hosted every month. Every month there will be new simple use case. Of course they are fun and also most importantly a great source of learning. Different use cases, different approaches by n number of Kagglers leads to multidimensional thinking and growth as well. Now considering tabular playground series July 2021, this type of competition comes under playground series one. Now these type of competitions are changed every month. The problem statement changes every month and also the difficulty may increase. Now basically these competitions have some structured data and these are much much easier than the featured or research based competition but may be a bit difficult from the getting started one. Now considering the data for this July 2021 competition, we do have date time, we have degree Celsius, we have relative humidity and we have target labels as target carbon, target benzene and target nitrogen. So basically this competition is multi-label competition, multi-label classification one. Well, these were some key competitions which every beginner should join and this was all from my side. Do participate in these competitions. As a beginner, don't focus on the ranks. Just focus on all around learning and development, which will surely count in future. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and share this video as much. Signing off for today. Stay safe, take care and bye bye.